Hey guys, what's up? So this video is going to be mostly addressed to those people who are considering buying a PS4 or an Xbox or a PC that aren't too sure if there's a game out there for them. Trust me, lately I've been kind of playing different type of games where I don't necessarily play like, oh I'm going to pick up this game like right now and there are a lot of games out there. So I'm going to be giving a few examples of some games that um, you might consider based off of certain um, certain um, criteria but um let me n make some notes a few of the games that I've mentioned might be exclusive to a specific console actually the games I'm gonna mention are exclusive to PlayStation because I currently play PlayStation and I have a Nintendo switch and I, I play some games on the PC but other than that, let's get into the discussion. So late this past month, basketball playoffs just ended, and let's say you're you're a little upset about how the outcome came. Say your favorite team didn't win, your team didn't even make the playoffs. Well, with the NBA 2K games, you could play as your favorite team, go through the playoffs, the regular season, the playoffs, and have your like simulate your team winning. Or you could just put like this for example the Spurs versus the Lakers just put the computer on and oh I'm not that into football so for, come football season uh, you just have that on in the background and kind of like sim a simulated game is happening until basketball kind of kicks up so here's a clip of that that I recorded a few days ago Look to work the home court advantage. 2K Sports brings you Friday night NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and here with me tonight, Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. Boys, nice time. And the Grizzlies start out with the ball. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. Defensive minded Green and Leonard are the wings. Duncan out there with Lamarcus Aldridge. And it's Parker in at the one. Randolph can't hit. And it's just hard to imagine the Spurs without Coach Popovich on the sidelines. He's the longest tenured coach in the NBA and has done so much for this team. Easily one of the best coaches in the history of our league. Now Conley. Kawhi Leonard missing from long range. Seven foot shot. Second shot opportunity and the layup good by Randall. So the next type of game I want to talk about is uh, is horror movie slash action movie. So these two games I'm going to mention they're PlayStation exclusives, and the feel that I got from playing them was like the Friday the 13th movies or the Freddy Krueger movies, where it's like the concept is some kids are in a cabin and there's a mysterious killer that. Or attacking them so if you think you can survive in a horror game you, why not play this game because your decisions throughout the game end up deciding who lives and who who dies so the jock could live and the nerd could end up dying just because of one decision you made like oh you didn't trust this person at the beginning of the game so they they leave the door locked while you're running back into the into the house and you that character dies off so here's a little here's a little clip from it and I hope you enjoy it Okay. 
I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. You're all alone down there. The next thing I want to talk about is the action movie. So, this game, I would say kind of like Indiana Jones, as in you're searching for a treasure and you're trying to get there first before a certain group who's searching for that exact same treasure gets there because eventually you learn there's a curse or there's some type of drawback to that we didn't know about. So then you're so you're shooting and I'll just let the clip kind of explain it. I'm in the captain's quarters. Get this. He's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Check his wallet. You're all hearts, Sully. Gotcha. Are you all right? <laughs> Sully, you're not gonna believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's gonna lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've gotta get something out of this trip or... Or what? Sully? You there? Sullivan! Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Guys. Easy. Put your hands up. All right, they're up. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? <laughs> Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with the innate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Kriegsmarine map have to do with El Dorado? What? You think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So? We square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? 
That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with Sully! Sully! You son of a bitch! Cowboy. Oh. That's for leaving Ow. me at the dock. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, I'm a good enough reporter to follow a couple of no luck tomb robbers. Shh. He went this way. I raise your head. Well, you're down to one tomb robber now. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh, God. I'm, I'm sorry. Please tell me you have a gun. Of course. Oh, thanks. All right, come on. Alright, so next, th there's not too many games about this, but they did, they have made a few games, and this company I'm, ca I'm talking about is Telltale. So, there are, there's a Walking Dead, Dead game, which has three seasons already. There's a Game of Thrones game that they did. They did a Batman game, and recently they're, they're doing a Guardians of the Galaxy game. So, the clip I'm going to be showing from showing you is from The Walking Dead Season 2 but the thing I wanted to point out is the events of Season 1 carry on to Season 2 and carry on to Season 3 so let me just let the clip kind of explain things. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine! Clementine! Exposed to what she has been with you. Die! Lee, I saw my parents. I know. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. What do you think? 
tell me that you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clint? I mentioned there's a Guardians of the Galaxy game, which there is actually a game where you can play as different Marvel characters. It's called Marvel vs. Capcom. You can play as Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Thor, and that's, a, that's kind of a fighting game. But the game I'm going to talk about is called Injustice. So this game is actually where you play as the Justice League. And there's actually a story mode where, in a parallel universe, the Justice League kind of turn turn against them. Um, they turn evil, and they kind of one of your characters kind of goes to the parallel universe. And I, it's been a while since I played this, but the idea is the the main universe is helping that other universe, and you can act. Aside from the story mode, you can actually put um, Batman vs. Superman, Aquaman vs. Joker, and just kind of play around like, oh, I wonder if um, Green Lantern can beat Green, Green Arrow. Just mess around. So the clip I'm going to be showing is actually Batman vs. Superman, and I hope you enjoy. Bye. Next game I'm gonna talk about is say you're a Disney fan. You want to just play a game where you're fighting alongside Disney characters. This game that I'm gonna be showing the clip of, you get to fight alongside with um, Goofy and Donald being in your party, and you get to travel to different um, Disney worlds. The two world um, clips I'm gonna be showing is one from Alice in Wonderland and one from Hercules. Where in Hercules I'm actually fighting Cerberus, the three-headed dog. The game's called Kingdom Hearts, and this is actually a PlayStation exclusive, so I hope you enjoy the clip. Come on! 
I got two words of advice for you. Attack! So, maybe there's one of you who are, who's like completely random and says, and thinking, you know what, I want to play as a goat. Um, there's actually a game for you, it's called Goat Simulator. So, I'm not actually addressing a person who wants to play as a goat. I'm just saying, like, I've given so many, like, specific condition, like, specific ideas for games that there are games out and this is a completely random one trust me there is a game for everyone because we have a goat a, literally a game where you play as a goat and it's pretty funny um i remember this one time where like i got hit by a car then got sent to a gas station which the explosion actually hit me out of the map and i kept falling but i'm gonna let the clip play so you can understand Those are the games I wanted to kind of address. They were actually just sitting on my PlayStation I had downloaded and I wanted to make a video with them and I couldn't think of an idea then this idea kind of popped up. So the original idea it was going to be a skit where I kind of did like stereotype stuff but it eventually evolved to addressing those people who are considering getting a PlayStation, an Xbox or a PC. So um, other than that. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and hit that notification button because I don't really have a set schedule right now, but as soon as you hit that button, it will notify you whenever I have a video uploaded. And other than that, um, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section. I typically have an app that that gets like right away when I get them. So if it doesn't like go to spam, I'll reply to your comment right away. If not, I'll go to the spam, un undo it, and just um, reply as soon as I can when I get to my computer. Other than that, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.